Okay, here's another one of those combinations. I made up a, basically a garden light Slayer Exciter with a one wire feed to the LEDs here. And uh, I've got a photo transistor here turning it off right now. It's an infrared photo transistor. And this is the inductor. This is Slayer's idea of using a choke. It just happens to be a thousand micro Henry choke that we just wrap some wire around for the primary and uh, used a standard Slayer Exciter circuit and uh, it works and uh, this particular one's working on AA battery now all I'm showing here is uh, at the LEDs I'm just coming off here uh, with like a ground wire back to the ground on this pulse motor circuit I've got my copper plate for the pickup with an AV plug and it all works you turn it on here I'll cover up the photo transistor there go the LEDs and this will start firing up here. And I just thought that was kind of interesting. I thought I'd share. And uh, the heart of the, the video is this inductor um, Slayer Exciter that we got rid of the towers. And it's just that's the towers right there. It's just uh, basically a coil. It happens to be wound on a ferrite core, I'm pretty sure, what they call axially wound. Axially wound. And then a 26 gauge of magnet wire is the primary. And a standard Slayer exciter circuit with a photo, infrared photo transistor to shut it off with. And this would be the charging part right here. Solar cell, rechargeable battery with a germanium diode uh, to cut off the backflow. And this is basically a prototype for a single wire garden light that would uh, come on and go off uh, automatically every day and I just happen to have it running a pulse motor as a bonus so anyway I thought I'd share that with people that uh, this latest thing with the Slayer Exciter actually a wound coil um, uh, choke it can be made into Exciter and probably stuffed inside a, an old uh, garden light and then you have a, a single wire garden light runs off one wire. That uh, the bonus would be is that you get this uh, this exciter thing going on, and everything's hot. You see how that LED lights up here. And this is just a double A battery. Probably drawing about 50 milliamps. I haven't hooked up a meter to this, but with all this stuff going on here. This is probably drawing quite a bit of juice. Uh, you could modify things so it didn't draw so much power. But, uh, I'll just shine a flashlight on it here and turn it off. You'll see how it turns off. There it goes off. Put my hand over it. Come back on again. Shine the light on it here and go back off. Put my hand over it. Comes back on. So. Anyway, real interesting little project uh, combining these things together. And uh, thanks for watching.